Okay, as you guys know, my bias is that I cannot stand the Labour Party, their policies or anything that they stand for. But let's be objective here. There is a Labour MP, well right now a parliamentary candidate, Tan Manjeet, uh, who is standing in Slough. Now, I don't like the guy's policies or you know, his party. But he was mobbed by a group of Islamists because they called him, because he's Indian, his background, ethnicity, they called him a Zionist because he's not standing up for Gaza because he's part of the Labour Party and Keir Starmer is also a Zionist apparently. <laughs> the same Keir Starmer that wants to recognise uh, Palestine as a state by the way. But uh, for the far left and the Islamists, uh, the Labour Party is still very much a traitor to Gaza. Instead of focusing on British politics and issues affecting our people, apparently we should focus on Gaza. But the problem I have with this is that I'm going to show you a video. A group of Islamists uh, decided to mob him. Intimidation, bullying, that's the usual tactics. The media don't care. And after this video, I'm going to explain why. My family, my family have died in Palestine. Yo, you're not welcome. You're not welcome, man. Get out. Leave, man. This is a place of worship. We don't need devils like you here. Leave. Leave from here. Get out. Get out. Leave. Get out. You're not welcome. You're not welcome, man. Zionist devils. Zionist devils. You, you got the blood of Palestinian children on your hands. You Zionist devil. Get out. You're not welcome here. Get out. Palestine will be free. Palestine will be free. Palestine will be free. Zionist devils, you're not welcome. It's a place of worship. We don't need Zionist devils like you. You're not welcome. Don't come back here again. Zionist devil. Zionist devil. Zionist devil. This guy, he's got the blood of Palestinian children on his hands. Zionist devil. You're not welcome here. Look at you and your bodyguards. You're not welcome. Get out. Don't ever come back. back. Now. The point of this video is not for you guys to feel sorry for the Labour Party. The Labour Party created this messed up society that we are seeing with the help of the Tories over the last 14 years. The problem that I'm talking about is the media are reluctant to cover certain stories. Until now, a lot of people thought, is it when the people being targeted are right wing or they're white straight men, for example? Not necessarily, and this is a good example. The way the media would report or not report on something is also about who the attacker is, who is causing the offence. It's not just about who's being targeted. Because the people who are doing the intimidation are the Islamists and the far left, you know, a bit outside the places of worship, they will not cover it. Because it's not really just because the person being targeted was right wing. Tan Manji is not right wing. In fact, he's still ticking one of the boxes when it comes to ethnicities, hmm, identity politics, and he's part of Labour, right? But this is the problem. They don't want to talk about this. The stuff that they were saying in the video, you're not welcome here. Now imagine, instead of a group of Islamists, it was a group of, a group of young white men saying it to the same Labour MP because they were angry that he was in the area, saying, Tan Manjit, you're not welcome here. And if the arc's coming from the white people, you can be reassured that BBC News, Sky News, Channel 4 News, the Metropolitan Police, the Home Office, the, the Buckingham Palace, the whole system will be hel having helicopters and tanks everywhere saying this is breaking news, this is basically like terrorism, this is just genocide against uh, a, a, a Labour candidate. This is the problem we have with the media. Keep an eye out uh, when it comes to things that are being reported, not being reported. Analyze it yourself. Now you're starting to see the trend.